The 75-year-old tried to buy an expensive car and was kicked out of the show, but a surprise happened when he returned. Polished windows, lacquered floor, ironed with a white shirt and branded ties, and all this in an empty car dealership, young people were importantly loitering around the hall providing visibility of vigorous activity, visitors came in frequently, but in this case not in quantity benefit and in quality, it is clothing store wear, besides buyers, there are onlookers who would only gaze and touch, such rarely appear here, mainly if real potential buyers come in, such staff could at first glance. Determine, therefore, in the middle of a normal working day, a poorly dressed grandfather entered the car dealership with a shabby shopping bag, everyone immediately realized that he got here by accident, the manager just looked at each other, no one was in a hurry to come up with an offer of help, they thought that grandfather would look at the prices on Tuesday and understand where he got to and surrender, as usually such a contingent does. It happens that the salon is wandering around, it is not clear what comes to their minds to hope that the grocery store is hidden here, I will leave your purse with you, grandfather went to the administrator and, as if nothing had happened, turned to the girl behind the counter, the young girl raised her eyebrows and critically examined the visitor, there was nothing in him to show himself as a millionaire ready to buy an expensive car, the administrator glanced at the manager, everyone just chuckled, watched the visitor on the side, waited for him to come to his senses and leave the salon, in other cases, seeing a potential client, they would rush to him with smiles on their faces, this kind of grandpa that no one wants to grovel in front of him, grandfather lingered for a short time near the car as if he was looking for something something definite, finally approached the most expensive car and started walking around it in circles, the manager quietly giggling among themselves, immediately. Found the most expensive car, whispered one of the guys, poverty from the same place the girl smirked, can offer him a cart from the supermarket, she giggled at her witty jokes. Come on, a man. Although he wants to look from the outside, the quietest manager began to protect the old man, they still won't buy the other guy disgustedly noticed, lets you from here, the girl suggested, let the quiet guy continue to protect his grandfather, sometimes the rich go in circles and they don't buy anything, but this one the worse, you are kidding Vlad, the girl grimaced, the same dirty all you can do this is at best, but if it seems crazy and we decide to destroy everything here. I don't want to be responsible for everything. And then the grandfather opened the car door and began to look closely to get behind the wheel, the manager tensed, do something the girl demanded, you see that the administrator does not pay attention to the visitor and speaks on the phone, let him sit there, the defender replied to grandfather, let him sit on the bench, the girl frowned and ran to the guard, grandfather looked inside the cabin and examined it for a while, the car was gorgeous he had never seen such a luxury, he smiled and was about to sit behind the driver's seat when a hand lay on his shoulder, the elderly visitor turned around, stood in front of him a security guard and two managers, grandpa, secondly, unfortunately, the security guard smiled politely, why, grandfather was surprised, isn't the car here to look at and try them, the girl behind the guard barely held back a laugh, for safety, the guard calmly said the car is expensive already booked, if any misunderstanding with it happened the new owner to the court against us will give, and how can I see if, grandfather started, no way now, unfortunately, we have to ask you to leave the salon, we have technical issues, grandfather was taken out of the salon, he calmly fulfilled the request of the staff and sadly walked to the bus stop. The administrator said that she didn't know how to send him out more politely, don't tell me, I have goosebumps, the manager's girlfriend supported her, I think now she'll break something for us to rake, and she, looking back at her grandfather, went deep into the salon almost stumbling over the bag which the visitor asked to leave the bag at the administrator, he forgot the bag she shouted out, it bounced off with disgust as if it were a heap of dirt, with such checkered bags, old people often go to the market, usually they take care of this belongings for years from which the bag is washed almost to holes, although I grandfather's it was not dirty, it is clear that it was washed but very shabby, and the girl disdained to take it, and then she was completely frightened, other managers and a security guard were no longer hurrying up to her, listen, it sounds like there is something dangerous, the girl looked anxiously at the guard, stop talking nonsense, the very manager Vlad approached the bag, no one had time to say anything as he grabbed the bag and ran for grandfather, Alexander Igorevich, lowering his head, slowly walked to a stop, he understood that the store simply did not want to serve him, because he did not fit in such a salon in terms of status, she was dressed too poor, and he had nothing to say about protection, he really had no money for a car it was, and the price is impressive, I remember when I began to take an interest in this car, it cost less. Well, what could be expected, the price of bread went up, the communal apartment is growing, of course, and the car will cost more. Reflections were interrupted by a young man running from behind, you took the bag, a guy in a white shirt and a familiar tie was smiling, Alexander Igorevich realized that the young man was from the salon, and then he saw his bag, here's an old fool, 
Grandfather hit himself on the forehead, of course he forgot, I was completely out of my head, I saw the prices and was upset, and why did you go into the salon? The guy asked cautiously, did you really want to buy, Vlad did not believe that. Grandfather that was why he was in the salon, but in a sense, the young man was a romantic, he read a lot of books, I watched films, it happened in life that old people were sent like that, it turned out that they were millionaires, I'm sorry that they asked you so, but you can understand us, Vlad recently from his grandfather began to explain himself for his colleagues, even if you are a millionaire but are dressed in cheap things. You will be asked, you understand that they are greeted by their clothes, yes, I'm not a millionaire, grandfather smiled sadly, retirement as everyone has been collecting cardboard bottles for a couple of years, they are slowly collecting, grandpa oh I opened the bag and showed the young man, the bag's eyes widened, the money was neatly stacked in a bundle, mostly 500 and 1000 bills, but the 5000s were also visible, so having almost saved up, the price for the car went up, Alexander. Igarevic sobbed, you have a dream, asked Vlad, from my wife, an elderly man took a bag from a guy, hugged it to him and went away, wait, Vlad stopped grandfather, maybe I can help with something, no son, she doesn't want another car. Alexander Igarevic smiled and decided that the guy wants to offer him something else and the seller is already ready to knock on anything just to buy, but he needs this particular car, otherwise there is no point in buying, no, that you are not. I'm not in that sense, Vlad was embarrassed even from such an assumption, maybe I can help you solve something with a discount, I don't promise, of course, and time. It will take more. But I'm sure we will succeed, we don't have time, and Alexander Igarevic told the young man that his wife was dying, and two years ago she was full of strength, they made plans, they wanted to go on a trip, once Katya saw this car and her eyes lit up, says, Sasha, let's spit on all our lives alone let's buy such a car in old age, we are chic, then we lived in three children, we have no children, why do we need such an apartment, Katya, and I figured that if we sell our housing and buy a small apartment, there was no time for the car to fight cancer for two years, some of our savings were spent on treatment, but I still wanted to surprise my wife, started collecting cardboard bottles, while she was either at home or in the hospital, but I walked around, I know places where there are a lot of things there is, it seems that the dream of being close to chemotherapy is no longer bringing results, and she has very little left. Vlad listened, there was nothing to say, only asked how much was missing, the amount named by the grandfather was clearly at a discount didn't feel like it, but he just didn't let his grandfather go, asked where he lived, came to his house in the evening, Katya, the wife of Alexander Igarevic, was pale and was almost exhausted at home, she offered to drink tea with them, the owners went down as if everything was fine with them, the elderly spouses held each other's hands all the time, the love between them was so strong, so unfortunately they didn't have to be together for long, when Vlad left he handed Alexander Igarevic a bundle, this is your dream, the young man smiled, now enough for a car, and he hurried to leave, grandfather tried to stop him to give up money but the guy only asked not to tell anyone that he helped. The next day, the same grandfather came to the car dealership again, but already in a suit, it is true of the old style, but it is clear that he was trying to be at the parade, the staff tensed, they did not dare to expel the visitor, still positioned as loyal to customers while the administrator was deciding to refuse, as it were, gently, grandfather went into the salon with his bag and again approached the same car, one of the managers hurried to him, the car was reserved, he started. Yesterday's story again, and if I want to buy it right now, he asked Alexander Igarevic, the manager looked around in confusion, apparently some kind of joke, but the grandfather opened the bag in front of him, this widened his eyes, the manager immediately became friendly and began to show his grandfather all sorts of signs of attention, offered to try the car, opened the doors and told all the nuances of the technical details of this wonderful car, the rest of the staff with open arms. Watched what was happening, the reason for such attention to the old man nobody except Vlad I understood, only later, when my grandfather dumped packs of money, they all started staring at the manager who had such a successful client. Vlad did not show that he had a helping hand, and Alexander Igarevic also did not say anything, but the young man was very happy for his grandfather who, after all the paperwork, left the salon in a brand new car, Katya, Alexander Igarevic flew into the apartment happy, let's go for a ride. An elderly woman was sitting in front of the TV today her condition improved when he took Katya out into the street she gasped her eyes did not believe when you heard that you robbed the bank, looked at. Her husband in fright, grandmother, everything is legally dear spouse, Alexander Igarevic opened the door for his wife and until evening they were rowed around the suburbs, beloved wife's dream turned out. They could leave everything and travel, how much life was left to wait still, they were both happy, two old men who allowed themselves to enjoy life, and the next morning she left, the wife of Alexander Igarevic lay in bed and there was a smile on her face, 
grandfather did everything to the last day his beloved woman was happy, and they were together until the last they enjoyed what they dreamed of. After a while this grandfather came to the car dealership again but without a bag, he was. Already greeted warmly, each manager tried to give the visitor maximum attention, on their faces there were smiles, Alexander Igorevica's face was gloomy, and only Vlad understood what was happening, grandfather approached the young man and handed him the keys, thank you son, grandfather said in a trembling voice, now let it be yours. Vlad tried to hold back his tears, he did not know what to say, but only blinks often, they re-registered as a young manager who was the only one who did not remain indifferent when the grandfather was asked to leave the salon, Vlad then often drove into his grandfather in this car, distracted him with conversations, helped to survive his tragedy. Alexander Igorevic was glad that his wife went to heaven happy and left such a mark on her life, made a gift for a good guy, after all, the young. Man himself was not rich, he gave all his savings that he saved for a car to an unfamiliar old man, did not regret it, gave it to fulfill the dream of the elderly spouses, thank you all for your attention, and see you soon.